Well, good day viewers, Grazer, and welcome to a very special episode. So we're doing something completely different. Been wanting to do it for ages. So we're doing a seven night drift in the boats. We're gonna be heading that way, down the Murray, and we're heading 220 Ks that way. And we're gonna finish at Barma. So totally a new river for me. Haven't spent a lot of time fishing this river. Well, from pretty well 10 Ks down, I haven't ever fished. So really looking forward to fishing some new water. Um, gonna be catching up. Um, with a good mate of mine, Brent, who's um, he's doing the same drift in his boat, so we're going to catch up at night and have a few beers, campfire, that type of thing. But we're going to be mainly flicking lures. We might do a bit of bit of boat, uh, sorry, a bit of bait fishing. I've got a bit of bait in the boat if we need to, and um, yeah, hopefully we're going to get onto a few fish. So boats loaded, uh, weather's looking good, clarity of the river's looking great. So really looking forward to getting out there so let's hope fingers crossed let's hope we get onto a few big ones so stay tuned hope you enjoy the vid and let's push off and get out there amongst it Alrighty, so we're on our way. 220 k's to go. Boats loaded up. Yeah, can't wait. So looking forward to spending some quality time on the river. Flicking plenty of lures, flicking plenty of bait. Got heaps of time. So yeah. Really, really looking forward to it. River's looking amazing. Obviously, we're just below the weir at Yarrawonga, as you can sort of see in the background there. Um, the plan is we're gonna head down the river a little bit. Um, and it's probably, I don't know, I'll probably get 5K down the river or so. Find some timber, hook up some, some lures. Um, yeah, might have a bite to eat and then very much going to um, start fishing. A little bit of breeze around. I've had um, just travelled up from Benigo, heaps of rain on the way up, but yeah, it's looking pretty good here. So we've forecast a few showers, it's not going to be super hot, so weather's going to be good. So plenty of variation. So what it does to the fishing, who knows, but we'll soon find out, I suppose. So anyway, we'll um, keep moving, head down the little river. Cockies are out. There's some cockies there. Ah, uh, yeah. We're going that way. So, a mate of mine, Brent, put together this this map, and as you can see, um, we're going to kick off with Bowala, which we've just put in. At marker 1980, and we're going to travel all the way down the river to Barma, which is at 1760. So, yeah, 220 kilometres along the river. So, very much going through Cobram, down the Tokemore. Really looking forward to going through the Barma Forest, through the National Park. Probably going to spend a night at Picnic Point. And um, yeah, down through the Narrows and all the way down to Barma. So, which today's Thursday. The plan is to be there by next Thursday. So yeah, we've got a bit of time, which is great. Well, it's actually quite a very shallow part of the river here. Just 
just downstream of Yarrawonga. Um, as you can sort of see on the finder there, it's sort of around that two metres. It um, gradually starts to get deeper as we sort of head down, um, yeah, sort of four or five k's down from here. But past that, I couldn't tell you because I've never fished it before, so it'd be really interesting. Um, plenty of timber around, which is good, so we'll be flicking at that later. Clarity, clarity is always generally pretty good at, at this up around the weir, so let's hope it stays good for the remainder of the trip. exciting things I'm looking forward to is coming into an area like this and you just have no idea how it's going to look around the bend. Big beautiful sandbar there. Pretty impressive. Yeah, old weather's looking a bit dicey. Um, first day they're actually forecasting there possibly might be a few showers around, but I'm just going through past another major beach here, but looking into the distance there, a shower happening. Might have to, um, might have to put the bimmy up, I think. And yeah, this is what it's all about. Just the peace and quiet. Gentle flow down the river, gentle drift, bird life in the background, big beautiful red gums. About an hour into the drift. Haven't wet a line yet. So I think it's time we um Yeah, I think it's time we hook up some lures, get the rods out and start flicking. How good is it? Well, here's that shower of rain. You can sort of see it in the distance. There's a few clouds coming over. Luckily we got the bimmy in the boat. It was um in an arm whether I should bring it, but shit I'm glad I did. Um, yeah, I wasn't sort of Expecting this, but that's okay. Um, we're going to continue to sort of hook up some lures, I think. Hook up some lures. Get rid of the fish. I don't suspect it's going to last very long, so um, I'll just try and stay dry for a minute and then we'll start casting, start flicking. Okay, we just, just bait it up. We're going to go with the spin right, twin spin and the Arakanji big plastic on the back of it with the big Gamagatsu hooks on it. Um, this is in a one gram. Got the two brass Colorado blades on it so in the water it's got to actually be a pretty big profile so um, straight out of the box this one. So yeah the guys at Trellies. Justin suggested I give this one a go, knowing that I was coming up here to do the drift. So we're going to try that. I'll kick off with that anyway. And then we're going, I've got a hard body. Um, 
Pull that up. I'm gonna go with the old mate, um, old mate lures. Um, sort of going that very natural colour. Clarity is pretty good, so um, we'll give that a whirl anyway. We'll try that. Um, really good for trying, sort of getting down in those shallow areas, especially this one. So we'll give that a whirl and um, we'll start casting. All right, time to get into it. So running the Miller ride, that's going to be my main ride of choice. Nice heavy ride that's in the seven footer. It's the Ambush 702. Corrado Real 300, 50 pound braid, and we've got a 40 pound leader tied straight into that. That one, grand, uh, one ounce spinner bait in the spin right. We've got to start flicking at this timber. And um, time to catch a fish, I reckon. It's a pretty heavy lure, so um, it's not very deep in there, so pretty well just starting to retrieve that lure as soon as it hits the water. My theory is, as a rule, a fish is going to come up and grab it from underneath. Certainly not going to come and grab it, drag it along the bottom. I'll come down and have a look at it. Check this drag, I suppose. It's a bit of an error, I'm not checking that before we get into it. Love the look of those lay downs. Such a great spot to target, targeting cod. Very much get that bull to run beside it. Initially, potentially be in there, using that for a bit of cover. It's all about putting in the right spots. Some really good timber out there. So there's a big granddaddy sitting in there that's hungry. Still very much sort of, well it's just gone 130, but we've got that overcast weather which is which is good. Sun's trying to break out. Suspect being in the middle of the day, they're going to be pretty close to that timber. Alrighty, so we've just spent yeah, probably the last hour and a half just getting a few k's in, being the first day. Sort of want to be sort of pushing that 30 k's a day along the river, just so we can meet our rendezvous. But we sort of just hit that 4.30, getting into bite time, so yeah, we're going to get into it. We'll start flicking a few lures around and see whether we might be able to get fish.
Yeah, got him. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, yeah, good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Nice one. What a beautiful fish. What a stonker. And his tag too. Look at that. Ripper, Ripper, <laughs> there we have it guys, absolute stonker, he's just gone 80, he's got a tag in him, absolutely beautiful, get him on the spin right, in the one ounce, just in the single Colorado blade, um, just running out next to a log and he's just come up and smashed it. First fish for the trip, so absolutely stoked. We're getting back in the drink. First one for the trip. Absolutely beautiful. You know it's gonna need a good swim, I reckon. What a, what a beautiful fish. There she goes. How good's that? Thank you. So yeah, I was just confident at that lay down there was a fish in there. And I just put the cast just in the perfect spot, just sort of to the left of it, let the current sort of run the lure just underneath the limb. And yeah, a couple of lines and I was into it. So that was just so much fun. So much fun. It's actually the first time I've ever caught a tag fish. I suppose I better look it up. I'm not sure what you meant to do. I think you meant to report it, but I'll have to look it up. So if anyone can tell me what you meant to do with a tag fish, um, yeah, I'd love to know. But I'm sure I'll find out once I get set up camp. So day one, done. We're pulled up stumps for the day. Um, get a set up camp. So yeah, got the boat in. Swags up, time for a few beers I think, and um, a feed, and yeah, save our energy for the morning, get up nice and early, hit the service, we got the one, well I got the one, Brent got a few, you got a nice 80 as well, I got the one in the 80, so um, it was a good day, good start, so we'll get in nice and early tomorrow and we'll get into the surface. Morning snoozers, day two of our drift. So slept in a little bit, but that said, absolute cracker morning, bit of an overcast morning, but yeah, looking forward to a good day. So rent's up, Evie's up, got the kettle along, got a push out, and we've got to get into it. All right, we've had a coffee, ready to get into it, so, um, very much the plan this morning is is surface so we're going to try the tailor made um, little surface lure it's that little two piece that sort of yellowy black color um, very much the which I've had for a long time it's yet to produce a fish which is the Brewster tremor in the cocky um, yeah we'll um, Give that a fair crack I reckon. Anyway we're just gonna sort of drift down with the current um, and see if we can catch a fish.
and he pulled up to the avion. Yeah. He get the coffee in his mouth and he was gone. Yeah. Oh no, give me a second, I'll um I'll drop this on his on his head. And sometimes it's enough to spook him off. Yeah. I've um I've done it a few times, so Oh, there he is. He's there. Yeah. Yep. They try not to put too much pressure on it if you can. No worries at all. Yeah, dropping a lure retriever on their head does wonders. I'll have to get one. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, we only got here yesterday. I got an 80 yesterday, yeah. so I was pretty happy with that. I got him on a spinner bait, but yeah. We were just around the corner, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, mate, have fun. Good on you. Alright, time to get a fish off the surface I reckon. It's been a long time between drinks. And I reckon if there's a place it's gonna happen, I reckon it's here. The river's not that deep. And um, it's just so much timber. Just underneath the surface, which is just perfect. So plenty of places for them to come up. Underneath that structure and strike it, so. that sun sort of breaks the top of the treetops. There we go, spinner bait again I reckon.
well the majority of the morning flicking surface but unfortunately no luck so um, yeah we're gonna get underneath the surface and gonna try the big spin twin spin in the spin right um, yeah we're gonna give that a whirl and flick amongst this timber Oh yes, I'm on. I'm on. Got him. Beautiful. Good stuff. Good stuff. Lovely little card. Here we go. Got him on the little snap that spin right. Oh, he's not happy. There you go, number two for the trip. Just a 57, nice little Murray Kite, just smack that spin right twin spin. What lovely fish. We'll get him back in. Oh yes! Oh, dropped him, dropped him, dropped him. Oh. Came out of those twigs. Just didn't quite hook up. Oh, he's had another go. He's had another go. Jeez. I thought he felt the hook before. I was probably going to give it another crack.
Put a couple more in there, eh? One more, one more, <laughs> we'll put one more in there. Geez, that blue is working really well. Just, uh, you just feel it swimming beautifully. No cigar, anyway, it's all right. It's on the um, little old man lure. Pick this one up from, from trolleys. Yeah. Got a hit on it. Let's see if we can get a fish on it. So I'm using this um, Shimano Raider rod. So I've, it's sort of that mid price rod. Um, I've been using these for years, just good value for money. This is the Cod Raider. Um, yeah, the Cod Raider. 6 to 12 kilo rod. Um, I've got a little 200 Corrado reel on it. Um, I'm just running 40 pound braid, 40 pound leader, and it's just perfect. It's got a real nice feel to it, but it's um, just perfect for flicking those little light high, uh, light hard bodies around. And as you can see, um, it's only light and just absolutely no worries at all getting that lure out. Um, yeah, a really good option for flicking those little hard bodies around, or even you know your sort of mid hard bodies. And I know it's going to hold up because I've actually caught a meadery on the on the cod raider. So um, yeah, really good option.
Yeah, got him. Got him. Ripper. <laughs> Woo! Oh, come here, come here. So much current here. Picked him up. He's grabbed that tree frog. Nice one. Nice little fish. Nice little fish. Got him. There we go. Number two for the day. He just gone 55. Got him on the, the trellis, old mate Lua, on the tree frog colour. I'm just casting that into the snags. Absolutely beautiful fish. We'll get him back in. And that's what we got him on, guys. The old mate Lua. Um, pretty sure these are exclusive to trellis. And um, yeah, just in that tree frog colour. Pretty impressive colour, actually. Oh, so, um, well, we've had a Fair crack today, I tell you. Like, it's sort of been flicking since first light. And, um, even though it's not super hot, it's been it's been pretty wary. Um, just on your feet, clasping and sitting down all day, just sort of travelling down the river. But we've um, we've done good k's, so we're in a really good position when it comes to our schedule. So just gone. Sort of gone around that quarter to five mark, so very much hitting that that peak time, that bite time this afternoon. So yeah, we're very much going to continue to sort of keep going, and then we'll probably find somewhere to camp. But it's been a very enjoyable day. So um, we've got through Cobram, and um, yeah, a lot of people around. Obviously, being Friday night into the weekend, so um, yeah, we sort of moved down a bit. It's a little bit more quieter. Anyway, we'll keep keep trucking along. So last hurrah for day two, so uh, just set up camp, found a camp spot, so I'm gonna go out and probably just flick surface for the last half hour or so before we had dinner. And, um, yeah, gotta go to chase a big dog, I think. Huh? Um, yeah, got two small ones, but yeah, some really nice timber up here we gotta have a look at. back down to camp, click into some surface. This is what I love about being in a place like this. It's the bird life. It's quiet. The river just takes on a whole new meaning. Absolutely beautiful. All you fishos out there, I'm sure can relate to it. Alright, time for a beer. Alrighty, here we go. I've got the big tremor on in the cocky. 
let's get one off the surface. Geez, I'm due. Absolutely due. Some beautiful timber. As you can sort of see down there, we're just going to drift back with that. Drift back to camp. Hopefully we'll get one. So that's a wrap, day two. Just managed the two fish this today. Got one this morning, one in the afternoon. The kiwi over there got one. Okay, what is it? But he's, um, he takes the trophy today, he got a 70. So we had another beautiful night on the river. Absolutely sensational. The camp set up, the swag set up, just about to cook some din din, and we'll do it all again tomorrow. Morning viewers, day three and we're up nice and early out to chase a surface bite. We're going to have some quick breakfast and we'll start flicking. Um, so we're just sort of halfway between Cobram and Toke. So we've got about, I don't know, 15 k's or so to get to Toke which will fuel up um, grab a couple of supplies and yeah and then start to head towards the Barmer Forest um, yeah very much going to try and chase that surface bite this morning um, we'll spend a few hours flicking and um, we'll see how we go
Oh, got him. Oh, yep. Oh, lovely. Lovely. How yeah, good's that? He's a nice fish too. That's a nice one. Alrighty, first one for day three. There we have it. A nice 60 model. Just gone 60 centimetres. Got him on the AC Invader. Beautiful little fish. So here we are in Toke. Big beautiful foreshore. We've got the bridge over to the left. We're just going to pull up to the right up here and yeah, pull up stumps and um, go grab some fuel. Come sprint, following in close behind. Maybe. Yeah, so really good spot. Let's pull up, pull the boat up. Got the park just here and just over the levee bank there is all the main shots, so it's really close to the river. Survey's just over there as well. So I'm hoping there's a bin up near the park there and we can dump some stuff. Good. Just come out of Tokemore and yeah, not a, it's really interesting because there's not a lot of like snags or timber that sort of fish and we don't hear that all the timber's been pushed up onto the bank. There's been a lot of snag clearing along here. I dare say it's to do with the amount of spears and stuff that get along here. Another big beautiful sandbar, just absolutely tons of them.
A good one here. Jesus, smack that. Whoa! I know there's a bit of timber there which I'm worried about. He's just absolutely smacked that tree. Oh, he's taking a bit of line. It's a good fish. Let's back that drag off a little bit. Try and get him in the net, eh? She goes big girl, just gone 77, very chunky 77. It's moving the petrol things now, bit of gill action, which is good. Should be nearly ready, I reckon. <laughs> she goes well, I think I might celebrate that fish with a beer. It's nearly, uh, well, it's 25 to 5, so. So day three, and we're just pulled up. We've um, set up camp, got the fire going, got the swag up, and yeah, we're gonna have some tucker in a minute. So, wasn't a bad day's fishing. We got, yeah, got one at 77, which was, yeah, a ripper fish. Got him bait fishing with a bit of chicken. Got a nice 60 this morning and um, got a few trouties, little trouties as well, just bait fishing. So uh, we've got one more fine, really fine day before the weather sort of goes south. But um, we're going to make the most of tomorrow, so we'll probably get back into flicking some lures. And um, yeah, hopefully we can break that voodoo and get one off the surface. All right, time for a fish. Time to hit the surface, so we're gonna try the tailor made in the big um, snaky sort of looking color. Um, yeah, we're gonna hit some timber, see whether we can pick one up off the surface. Cracky morning, um, so we're just gonna drift down with the current, get nice and close to the timber, and hopefully we'll pick one up.
It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. that snake having a swim in the river so day four it's lunch time um, we've just gone past the 1858 marker so we're doing really good time so we've just pulled up and it's time for some lunch um, no fish for the, this morning had um had one nice bite but unfortunately it didn't stick but um yeah brent's got was on the board. Here you go, and Evie. Hey, and we're just gonna um, have some lunch. Head out again. So how'd you go, Brent? How big was your fish? Oh, uh, not very big, mate. Probably, oh, I'd say around fifty. Yeah. Trout cod. Yeah. And you just got it on bait. Yeah, just on bait. Had to hook him. Yeah, nice. Good Thank stuff. You. So anyway, we're gonna grab some lunch. Um, We'll head out again this afternoon. I might even have another bait fish this afternoon. I'll see how things go.
about to push the 1850 marker. So into day four. Yeah, we sort of, Brent and I, we've just been sort of cruising along at that sort of 10, sort of 12 k's. Um, which has just made the whole trip so much more enjoyable. Obviously our hand was forced a little bit. We thought there'd be sections where we'd probably go a little bit quicker. Um, but obviously with the river having plenty of hazards in it with regards to snags and very shallow parts of the river, um, hitting sandbanks. Yeah, it sort of made us go a little bit slower, which is yeah, which has sort of made the trip a little bit more enjoyable. And just, um, yeah, it just gives you that opportunity to enjoy the scenery. And, um, yeah, just, just enjoy what the, the Mighty Murray's got to offer. It's such an amazing, an amazing place. So lucky to be able to just drift down a river such a long period of time and pretty well pull up wherever um, we have seen a few sandbars that have got the big you know private property keep off type thing which um, which there hasn't been a lot of but this yeah just so many places to camp like and here's a prime example just a beautiful sandbar absolutely has no one on it just a perfect spot to set up camp but there has been obviously sort of downstream of Toke towards sort of that Strathmerton area um, being the weekend too there was absolutely people everywhere um, not a huge amount of boats on the water um, there was the odd skier the odd jet ski but um, all in all it's um, when it comes to boats, it's um, relatively been pretty quiet. Um, yeah, fuel economy-wise, it's yeah, it's actually surprised us. Um, and I think because we've been pushing, you know, sort of just cruising along at that sort of 10k mark, um, not trying to get the boat up to plane with so so much weight in the boat, it's probably saved us a lot of fuel, um, and obviously improved our fuel economy. Anyway, we might go and have a bait fish, I think. Um, yeah, just break it up a bit. Um, it was a donut session for me this morning, day four. Um, yeah, might go find a nice bit of timber, a nice bit of structure, and yeah, put my favorite bait, a bit of chicken in. Let's see whether we can um, get a fish for the day. All right, we just pulled up to a little spot here, just tied up to a tree, and um, thought we'd change things up a little bit and do a bit of bait fishing. So we've got the two rods in, <coughs> both for chicken, size five hook. It's afternoon, nearly time to put the footy on. Let's sit back and relax for a little while. Uh, this is what you love about boat camping along the Murray. Just pulling up. Just on the sandbar. This one's deserted, which is always nice. And um, yeah, going for a swim. Clarity of the water is amazing. Oh, the water's beautiful. The water's at 25 degrees. This is 
absolutely so refreshing after being fishing all day. Absolutely beautiful. It's just so quiet. So we're officially in the, the Barmer State Forest. There's just no one around, which is absolutely beautiful. The forest is absolutely amazing. G'day son
So day four, big donut day for me, unfortunately. Just had the one bite on the little, yeah, number one stump jumper. Um, yeah, being flicking surface, subsurface. But yeah, just couldn't get, couldn't get a fish today, but that's fine. Um, really enjoying just drifting down the Barma Forest, which is just absolutely amazing place. Just a totally, totally different river. Just with the forest, just so thick. Um, some beautiful water, plenty of snaggy water. So really looking forward to getting up nice and early in the morning and we'll have another crack and see whether we can get another fish.